Right. A uh, very good evening to all of you. So today we have with us Pratik. He is a clinical database developer at one of the major pharmaceutical companies, a major multinational pharmaceutical company. All right. And uh, he's going to share with all of you that how you can get into this field. Uh, like he's a master. He has master's in medicinal chemistry, not a MSc in medicinal chemistry, but like MS in medicinal chemistry. But that does not matter because if you have the relevant skills, um, which he is going to highlight in this particular video, and if you if you get good at these skills, you can also become a clinical database developer, right? So uh, as the name suggests, it's a non-traditional career in chemistry which involves um, um like if you are interested in the programming, um, like if you're interested in computer science or if you're interested in programming, um, then this could be a, a right career path for you where you can use your um certain chemical knowledge and uh, you know uh, medicinal uh, chemistry knowledge pharmaceutical knowledge combined with programming and you can become a good clinical database developer right so let's dive into the video hi sir how are you i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good i'm good so um can you give me an introduction uh just a general introduction so that our viewers can know you better where are you working um uh, what is your uh bachelor degree master's degree yeah 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 sure so hi guys i am pratik kabra and i am currently working as a clinical database developer uh, i have pursued my masters in medicinal chemistry and i am i have done bachelor in pharmacy right okay so um due to the some confidential reasons he cannot tell which company is working with but it's a very very large mnc right uh, that i can tell you for sure so what exactly is your post um, where you're working yeah my post currently i'm working as a clinical database developer okay so um like even for me this is a new post like i don't know much about it so can you give in a detailed manner what exactly is a clinical database developer and what is your work profile like what do you do on a day to day basis yeah so basically what the clinical database developer does is uh, like uh, whatever the clinical trials for a clinical trial of a drug uh, the database developer builds a database okay. so like to be more clear it's like the database developer will, will be developing uh, like the forms case report forms and like there is some technical stuff but like they will be developing the database uh, for the clinical trial okay right so um like you said there is some technical stuff so for that technical stuff uh, is there any uh, prior knowledge of medicinal chemistry or pharmaceutical chemistry required or is it something different uh, not much required as such uh, but uh, it it will be help it it, it gives uh, help in that but not that much required okay so means a knowledge of pharmaceutical chemistry or medicinal chemistry is not very very like it's not a uh, prerequisite in order to become a clinical uh, database developer or is there little bit knowledge required uh, a little bit is fine but it is okay it is okay to uh, not not to be having the knowledge of okay okay right so what is your work uh, like a day to day basis like wh what is your work how do you like when you go to the office what what exactly are you working on and how do you like carry out your work yeah so basically uh, the i am uh, working in development of database like uh, based on the protocol of a clinical trial of a drug okay uh, we will be designing the uh, case report forms and uh, related stuff right and uh, for that we will be doing some basic programming stuff and all okay so um, like if somebody let's say is in their masters or bachelors and they are planning to uh, get into the field of uh, like a uh, database developer or get into the programming field like they want to switch their career a bit and get get to the programming field so what kind of skills um, you would recommend them to learn uh, which you feel that had you learned during your masters or bachelors would have been definitely beneficial in your work environment Uh, yes i can say that uh, it's it, uh, one can definitely think of switching into this field because uh, there is lots of scope in this field uh, mm. nowadays data science is a huge huge field yes exactly so, so to get into this field like one should have a basic knowledge of uh, some programming languages right. uh, i i i'm not saying like uh, you should be like very uh, good at 
programming like it should, it should not be a hardcore programmer like gen- yeah hardcore programmer is not required at such oh. i am also a chemistry graduate right uh, so and i entered into this field initially i also thought like uh, how i'll be doing doing the programming being the chemistry guy right But right i also started learning and i think uh, if we decide we can do it we can do anything right, and in right. case of programming what i found is like programming is nothing but 90% of common sense and okay. nearly only 10% of syntax so right. it is not that difficult thing if you decide okay okay so um, like what kind of programming languages would you recommend um, if someone wants to join this field uh, database developer yeah uh, so to join a clinical database uh, development uh, you should learn uh, some programming languages like c sharp uh, okay. then sql right. and basics of python okay so like sql i i don't i don't have much knowledge about c sharp but sql and python is actually uh, being utilized in diff- other fields also not just in clinical database management or development right it is being utilized throughout um throughout the um industry in different fields am i correct yes yes definitely so, so basically it's a very versatile language and if somebody uh, like uh, learns sql or python then they can def- they'll have uh, like uh, different avenues not just technical database developer but other avenues as well to join yes yes all right all right definitely. and if someone like uh, if someone wants to um start off Um, like if someone wants to learn SQL or if someone wants to learn Python, do you do you have any particular resources in your mind that you can enlighten the viewers with, where they can go ahead and learn about these languages or where they can start off learning these languages? Yeah, actually, I found uh, two good resources that two e-learning platforms. Uh, right. The one is Coursera, uh, okay. where you will find find n number of good courses for programming. all fund and you can start with some uh, fundamentals of basic programming thing and then another platform is linkedin learning uh, where uh, currently i am also doing it for right. uh, sharp sharp programming okay 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 so um, um, pratik if uh, for example um, what i want to say is that um, let's say i learn a particular language now how can i proceed with applying like for example theoretical knowledge of a language or learning a language is different but like for example when you're speaking like when you learn general language like for example german or hindi or english learning is one thing but communicating is a different thing because you're applying that language to communicate with someone similarly when we talk about these programming languages so if someone learns it then how can they apply it do you have any ideas about that if someone is not working like for example you are working so you can immediately apply your knowledge and see whether um, you are learning things or not but if someone is not currently uh, in a company then how can they apply it can they do certain internships where they can test their knowledge um, do you have any um, ideas for that yeah actually uh, while you do those courses uh, in those courses also there will be some uh, tests going on in between Right. and also there are uh, like at the end also there will be one test uh, so you you can try it there and uh, as such you can try like there are uh, many program like many softwares in which you can uh, go and try uh, your own examples also okay all right like you can build up something for yourself yeah you can build up taking like general examples general examples not as such of clinical trials but we can take any general examples to execute right. the program right and um, since you are currently learning those languages i'm um, so what exactly uh, which software are you using currently for your work yeah so most of the mncs most of the companies uh, for clinical database development nowadays uh, using a tool a software uh, which is known as uh, medidata rave okay uh, i'm not like every company is using this but most of the companies are using this is the current currently in market medidata rave okay. and maybe you can search on uh, google like medidata there you can find out and maybe you, you can do courses also some okay. certified courses on medidata rave also which will uh, be very helpful to get into this okay so they, uh, is that a open access software or is it like paid software no oh, it is paid it is paid okay but i think if someone can pay pay for the certification courses uh, that would be definitely helpful for the industry from an industrial point of view yeah that would be a great because most of the people are asked, like uh, 
uh, using that software only right right so um pratik uh, one last thing that i want to ask you is that um since you have uh, like you, you i would say you were quite fortunate to get placed in such a good company as a fresher but i'm sure um, um getting as a fresher into big uh, like multinational companies would be a tough job so uh, would you recommend uh, someone who wants to get into this field who does not have experience to first work in smaller companies get the experience and then uh, uh, like apply for larger companies or is there a direct way where they can join the larger mnc uh, like i i suggest is like uh, one should start with a smaller organization and then uh, there they can gain a lot of experience right and after gaining the experience they can switch into a good company and because of the experience they will get uh, a very good opportunity in the uh, mnc's like good companies so right. starting with small organization is like highly beneficial for the individual only not like uh, we need to start with a big organization only right so the like the opportunities will come once you get the experience yeah. is that what you want yeah. to say right okay yes, yes. and um, so um, like I, i already said one last question but one more thing like what is the um, i want to know a bit more or i want um, like somebody who's like working in this uh, field what is the uh, profile like in the sense that how uh, how do you manage your time is it too time consuming or is it fun how how is it like working as a clinical um, database developer yeah uh, working this is really a fun because uh, you will be uh, day to day you will be learning the new things because uh it will be like everything will be getting updated uh like tools will be getting updated and new new things will be coming into market so right. i found it really really interesting right so it's basically you're saying it's a very dynamic field like everything changes date on a day to day basis so you need yeah, to be exactly. updated all the time yes right 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 all right abhitik thank you for providing an insight into this uh, wonderful job profile and i hope that it could be definitely helpful to our learners and um, in case you don't mind uh, um, like can i share your email id with all of them in the description box so that if anyone wants to contact you or has some queries they can put put up their queries on your email yes yes you are you can share with them right so i um, guys um, i would like to thank pratik thank you so much for taking out time and joining in today and i hope that whatever insights he has provided would definitely be helpful to you and like i said you can see the uh, email id down in the description box and if you have any queries you can directly contact me right thank you pratik thank you so much for joining in today thank you sir thank you hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators So in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETHI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is SETHI Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right. Now let's begin with the video.